Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rosie and we are currently in Phnom Penh, Cambodia and I've kind of been slacking on the vlogs and I think honestly it's because we've been here for two weeks now that we're kind of just living life and I forget to vlog kind of everyday things. I have vlogged any kind of exciting days and I think we go and see that it's nice and fun. Um, today we are going to a really big temple that was built in 1443 if I remember correctly. So it's quite an old temple next to the royal palace. So we're going to go there and then we're going to go to an Amazon cafe and get some work done. Maybe chill by the pool later on, I'm not sure. Go out for food for lunch and dinner as well. I thought today could be a really good chance to kind of show you a day in the life of a digital nomad. Somebody who is working as they're traveling because I think oftentimes if you just see somebody's Instagram or YouTube or whatever or TikTok, it might just seem like they're having fun the whole time which we are, but we're also working as well. So I thought it could be a good opportunity to show you kind of a realistic day in our life. So it's currently 11 a.m. ish, quarter to 12. <laughs> um, I woke up at 10 because we went to bed late. So I woke up at 10. <clears throat> I've just got myself ready, put some things away because we're going to get our room clean today. Um, so quarter to 12 and we're going to go out and look around this um, temple. But yeah, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get going outside. So this is one of the main roads that we've walked down many, many times. And what's funny is that this street and I think the next street are... Um, <laughs> so, I wasn't sure how to word it, but it's basically bars where there's loads of women outside. And as a man, you go up and order a drink and one of the women will sit with you. And if you want her to entertain you further, that is also a possibility. So that was quite interesting when we walked down there because me and Jeremy together and then also there was three guys behind us who were together. There was maybe like 30 women outside this bar all going hello, hello, hello. Like 30 women all shouting hello at us. And it's so weird that they're like wanting to attract my husband to go in and have a drink and maybe more with them and also the guys behind us. So it was interesting, it's an interesting situation. And you often see like old white men sat there with like young Cambodian women. So it's not my cup of tea, but it is something that happens here. But it was- Lady drinks. Lady drinks. But it was interesting when we walked down and they were like, hello, hello. It was like the school kids. Never had so that many girls shouting <laughs> at me before. <laughs> yeah, it was, it reminded me though, the school kids we saw at whatever the, um, oh, the mausoleum, wasn't it? So yeah, interesting, anyway. We are now walking towards the palace, not palace, temple, that's where we're going. Okay, so we have, <laughs> okay, so we have arrived at the monastery, um, the temple. I want to show you the outside before we go in. It's beautiful, we've walked past it quite a few times and it's our first time going in, so I'm quite excited to see what it's like because it's big and it's old. I think like I said, it's built in 1443, I think it was. Um, and it's also quite big apparently, so I'll show you the outside before we go in. So here you can see a bit of the outside, there's some gold temples, I love the colour of this wall and the little details in the sections there. I know this is the main entrance, so it's red and gold and it's got these um, statues on the outside and then there's a rooster to welcome us. Welcome the Frenchie. Hello. So this is the inside, there's a big, let's go around this way, I was trying to decide which way to go but I think I'm going to go this way. There's a huge big bell here, I don't know if you can really see how big that is. Maybe I'll try and get Jeremy to stand next to it. So there's a huge bell, we're going to have to go for a wander around there. And then there's this big building, I'm not sure if we're allowed in, we'll have to see. And then there's this one. And then. There's all that over there as well, including this thing. So there's a lot to see. Okay, I asked Jeremy to go and stand next to it so you can see the size. Like, that is huge. And also with the building up there. Right then, are we going around the back? So we're walking down the back here and there's two rhinoceroses which it's the first time I've seen that. We see elephants, we see snakes, but it's the first time I've seen rhinos. Ah, oh, that door is open, so we will be able to go in there, hopefully. This door is open. Whenever I see, oh no, there's another door that's closed. 
whenever I see an open door I'm like okay that's an invitation to go in so this is also part of it um, I guess this is where the monks live or it's houses that are just happen to be part of the complex I'm not entirely sure so we've walked around the back and I think this is where the monks live in these accommodations um, these are interesting though, how they kind of got bird feet and wings and things but then they're also Buddha or human, I'm not sure. But we're kind of around the back now, so that's the back of where I was earlier, I was down there with the big bell. So we've come around the back, we're going to carry on exploring a little bit and then we'll go inside and see what's in the building. No, we haven't seen that before. Got a beard and everything, <laughs> and a moustache. Yeah. He's even got gold nipples and a gold belly button. And there's also roosters here, which we've not seen any statues of roosters before. This is kind of typically what we see. So that's very interesting. I love these decorations. Jeremy noticed that one of them is with a bunny, so let me show you. There's a couple more, a couple more. And then this one's with a bunny. I know, we're walking down the side here. I'd like to try and go in this building where the door was open. Okay, so we're going to go up here and see if we're allowed in. I think it's some sort of meditation room or prayer room. Okay, so we went upstairs, took our shoes off, and we're about to go in, and then a monk came and said, actually, it's, we're not allowed in, it's not for tourists. Um, it's for prayer and for people that live here. So I asked him how many people live here, and he said about three or four hundred monks at a time live here, which is crazy because I don't know where they put them all. <laughs> and he also said that about 200 of those monks are studying. So I guess he means studying to be a monk. I don't think he means studying, you know, physics or accounting. So yeah, 400 people live here. That's crazy because we kind of we we've kind of talked about this before, me and Jeremy, in terms of like I wonder how many people live here and how big their room is, if they have to share with other people and all that kind of thing. So it's interesting to know that 400 people live here. Because um, we see loads of monks around Penang Peng as well. There's hundreds of them like all the time. So yeah, it kind of makes sense that there's so many living here. So there's some statues here. Jeremy's so good at noticing these things. He was saying that like it's really different to Vietnam because like I feel like in Vietnam it was just like a person figure. Whereas here you can definitely see a difference between like the men and the women. So you can see like the woman's got boobs and like a tiny waist and bigger hips. And then the men have moustaches. Um, and the hats are different and things like that. So it's definitely, um, yeah, like a different type of Buddhism, I guess. So here's the big beautiful Buddha sat outside this main building. We're going to explore this part now, so we'll see what's around here. There's this gorgeous big silver elephant with some green toenails. Wow, look at that drum. I don't think it's a drum. It just fell in front of me. Ah, oh, my favourite flower. I love these. These smell like a spa. So there's this big gold one and then there's this thing that says Kingdom of Cambodia. It looks like a drum, I know it's not. Is it Asia then? Does that say Asia in the middle? Maybe, that could be Malaysia at the bottom. That's Japan, isn't it? Uh, I think that's Hong Kong, the red and blue here. So I know there's silver elephant. That's a new one. Yeah, it's Ganesh, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a mix between Buddhism and Hinduism. We've got cows here as well, we've not had cows before. I'm not sure. We've got cows and a laughing Buddha, a Ganesh and another cow. Yeah. So we've come round to the other side. There's a huge um, memorial thing here and then obviously this has been taken down this building there's a building over there and I think this is where the monks live so I wonder how many for example live in that one building I'm not sure 
So we've now come into this part with a big, 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 um, I don't know if it's Supta or Stupa, a big memorial thing. It's gold, it's beautiful. They're doing a building there, so I apologise about the banging. And there's all these as well, it's so gorgeous. Let me tell you guys, I am sweating so much, it's so hot. But I love looking around, taking some beautiful photographs. I really hope you enjoy the photographs. I think that's like what makes me a little bit different from other travel YouTubers is that I put in photographs and I personally love it because it's one of my favourite hobbies is to photograph everything. Um, so I hope you enjoy that, but oh my goodness, I'm dying of heat. It's so hot. statues here it's interesting when they have like eyebrows and lipstick and eye makeup and things on there's definitely different types I mean this one's even got eyelashes I don't think I've ever seen eyelashes so it's really interesting how they're all similar but also different and you can see there the um, line down Buddha and there's even smaller Buddhas behind there's a smaller one there some smaller ones here as well. So there's lots and lots. Anyway, we are now going to go inside the big main building downstairs. I don't think we can go upstairs. Jeremy's already taken his shoes off there and gone in. Okay, so we've come in the old building, that's the back of the room. And as we come round to the front, this is what you're greeted with. So there's carpets on the floor, like rugs on the floor. There's a table here for people to sit down. And then there's chandeliers. Beautiful details on the ceiling. More buddhas on the side there. And you're gonna walk up and show you these closer up. So the only ones in here at the moment, there's two or three people that like I think live here, but there's no other tourists. So I'm not gonna be in anyone's way, but there's they seem to be made out of different materials, like that looks like marble or some sort of crystal or something. That might be jade, I don't know. Could be bronze, could be gold, could be lots of different options. Here's the snake head again and it goes along and there's candles all along the front, along the middle. And there's collection pots at the side for um, donations. But it's beautiful. There's also a little elephant each side, which I do love elephants. Oh, and there's a big painting behind, or a big um, piece of fabric or something, with a yeah, with a laying down body. You can kind of see the face there and then the body going all the way along the back. Okay, so we have finished at the temple. Really, really beautiful. Really worth coming, I think. I definitely preferred some of the other ones actually saying that. Um, it's beautiful outside, we didn't see a whole lot inside. But I will leave the information in the description box down below if you want to Go ahead and come to this place when you're in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Anyway, we are now going to go and find some food, which I don't think I've vlogged too much of us getting street food, so I'm quite excited to show you kind of some of the, well, somewhere where we're going to go today, but also kind of the sort of things that are available here, because there's lots of different options. And the first couple of days, I'll say I didn't love the food, but I feel like the last couple of days we've been getting really good food. So I think it just depends on where you go. Um, but the food here can be delicious, you just have to kind of find the right place. And what we tend to do actually is walk around until we see lots of locals in a restaurant and then we'll go into that one and just kind of order something there because you kind of think if there's locals there it must be good so we're going to go and do that so let's get going we are hungry so this is one of the entrances to the temple that we just went in and then you can see the king's palace in front there so if you want to do both in one day i think that would be a really good idea because you could kind of do you know two birds with one stone this is what the streets look like. I don't feel like I've vlogged much here, so it'll be interesting when I do start editing these videos to see how much I've vlogged, but I'm hoping you're enjoying just 
looking around today. It's a cute coffee shop there. There's lots of massage places and it's interesting. So it says massage $5, the oil massage $5, the casual massage $3 and air conditioning $5. So I don't know if you have to pay extra for air conditioning or if you can just go and sit in there for $5 and enjoy the air conditioning. So I was thinking we were going to go to like a local place and I'd be able to show you was like sat on the little chairs and be sat, you know, eat like local food, which is what we do 90% of the time. Like we haven't eaten much Western food at all. But as we were walking down here, we saw a, um, a sandwich restaurant and Jeremy was like, oh, sandwiches. And they actually had salads as well, which I'm craving cold foods and salads, especially today because it's really hot. So I've ordered a tuna salad for $3. Jeremy has ordered a beef and cheese, beef and cheese sandwich mm -hmm. for two or $3 and some chips. I also got a Fanta, which is luminous orange. Is that always this color in Europe? I don't know. Anyway, so I was expecting to be like, oh, this is so cute lunch that we're getting. Actually turns out we're having <laughs> more like western food but anyway this is just kind of a day in life I guess so I'll show you when the food arrives to be honest it's actually quite nice to be sat somewhere with fans and a bit of AC because otherwise we'd have been dying outside especially if we're sat in the sun so it's actually quite nice to be sat somewhere a little bit cooler okay this is my salad that's arrived there's my drink and then Jeremy's got his sandwich there he's not got his um, fries yet I don't know if they've forgotten them or if they're doing them but I want to start eating because I'm hungry. So we usually spend about $4 for lunch, it's typically like $2 each. That was around $8.50, so it's double what we usually spend. So that's kind of what it's like when you come to more Western places. Obviously we don't do that often, we can't afford to do it that often, but it is nice every now and then, especially because they had salad. It wasn't the best salad, I'll be honest, but at least it was cold and fresh. The plan now is to go to a cafe Amazon and get some work done for a couple of hours. There's one that we saw yesterday that had the cafe on the bottom and then it had seating above. So we're going to go there, it seems a little bit further away as well. So I'm looking forward to doing that and sitting with the AC, getting some work done. We've got our laptops with us so we can like work, work, work. Right then, we have made it to cafe Amazon. I'm just going to show you from the outside. So this is it, we walked past it the other day and we think there's also an upstairs where we're going to go and sit hopefully at the space. Hopefully they've got AC on as well. So this is the inside of the cafe. Jeremy always gets an iced matcha latte, I think it is, and I always get a lemonade, or like a lemon tea. And it's nice and cool, the seats. So Jeremy's gone to look upstairs to see if there's somewhere for us to sit, otherwise there's this table with a plug, so I'll see what he says. That's the outside. Okay, so we have got our drinks. We're now going upstairs to try and find somewhere to sit. Okay, we found a little table where we can sit and there's plugs down there so we can charge our laptops and get some work done. Are you going to wave, Jeremy? <laughs> two and a half hours like two hours and 45 minutes so almost three hours but um, we're done because I have finished editing a video I was doing I just need to go home and film a little bit where it's somewhere quiet just to kind of end off the video so we're gonna go back we're also gonna go and sit by the pool hopefully if there's space have a bit of a swim enjoy the sunset there so I thought I would show you that as well um, but yeah it's been good I've also edited <laughs> um, you will have seen this video already of me eating, well of us eating bugs and I've just edited the reels like short TikTok version of me in the frog so that was fun. I'm not sure the reaction I'm going to get to this because some people can get offended by certain content so I'm not sure if people are going to be like oh my god you monster don't eat frogs or if it's going to be okay we'll see. Um, but yeah I've done that as well so we're going to head back. <sighs> I just want to get some um, passion fruit on the way home. I had a passion fruit last night, delicious, and it cost like 10p, something like that. So I'm hoping to walk past there on the way home so I can get at least two, one for tonight, one for tomorrow night, and then we leave on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, we'll do that as well. Okay, so we are just on our way back to the hotel and we're gonna go via the market to get me some passion fruit, which I'm looking forward to, but I thought I'd show you a little bit of kind of the town area. So this is what the streets look like, lots of motorbikes, um, lots of tuk-tuks as well, there wasn't that many in Vietnam, but there's loads here. 
plus cables. Lots of cable. I mean, look at that cable mess. It is crazy. Um, so we're going to turn right here and hopefully we'll get to the place with the fruit and hopefully she'll have some passion fruit for me. So this is the market that we're heading towards and I think it was the person here on the left so we're going to have to see if they have any today. Hopefully they do. Okay, so they didn't have any passion fruit in the place where I got them earlier. Oh! That might be something. Well, it's just, you know, the other one is 500. You know how much yeah. I mean, you can ask him. Well, no, it's come back tonight, it's fine. So they didn't have any passion fruit in the place that we got some yesterday. We got one yesterday. So we're going to walk back to the hotel and like I said, get ready, go and chill by the pool a little bit, which I'm looking forward to. But this is the market, so there's lots of different food stands selling lots of different things, there's lots of motorbikes um, and there's kind of people either side so there's meat there for sale there's eggs, there's fish, there's fruit and veg and our hotel is just down here <gasps> there's monkeys up there there's monkeys Oh my god! <laughs> what happened? There's monkeys up there! Can you see them? And they're walking and there's babies! Oh my goodness! Look at the monkeys! Oh my god! change of scenery I feel like I became a little bit of a nature channel when we saw the monkeys and then those big birds anyway we came home and filmed a hotel tour video so you might I don't know if that's coming next on the channel I'm not sure but that will be up soon if it's not already we got changed <laughs> we're now gonna go for a dunk in the pool because we are hot and sweaty we were hot and sweaty anyway and then we just run around the hotel filming everything so let's go in the pool
So this is where I've come to get my beef noodle soup that I'm going to take away and eat at home. Okay, next stop is to go to the fruit and veg place to hopefully get some passion fruit if they have some. This is where we were earlier today, so you can now see it at night time. It should be that one on the corner. I forgot to film, but Jeremy got <laughs> some rice and some food that was in that sauce. So this is my soup. It came in lots of different sections, so I'm going to show you that. And then I got two passion fruit and a baguette as well because I'm hungry. Jeremy got rice, he got some meat and sausage, and then he also got like a pate thing. Right, I'm going to try and show you. <laughs> the table is not really big enough for this. But I've got my bag of soup, which I'm totally going to burn myself on. I've got my beef and um, noodles, so I'm going to put that in first. I then have a tiny bag of spices, which I'm not going to use. Jeremy can have that. <laughs> I've got a brown sauce. I've got an orange sauce. I've got, oh, salt and whatever that is, chili and pepper. And then I've got bean sprouts. So I'm going to put that in as well. And then Jeremy, can you help me put the soup in? This one, because I think otherwise I'm going to burn myself. Slowly. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. That smells delicious. 